Hey, you got Trucker Tim with Double, Double T Sports. And this is a verse in two packs. Right now, I want to wish my wife a wonderful birthday. Happy birthday. I'm, today's over with now. It's about like 8.40. I hope, I hope she's had a blessed day. She's the rock I stand on. Is that how you say it? Anyway, she's my wife, my wonderful, wonderful, blessed angel. I call her my angel. I don't know if I tell that what I said a minute ago, but she's my angel. I love her with all my heart. You look younger by by the day, and uh, I wouldn't want to live without you. Lord, thank you for a wonderful, wonderful wife. I pray, Lord, and thankful for all that you give me, for all the family you give me, for all the friends you give me, for all the card community friends, and, and uh, I pray, Lord, that you pour your spiritual protection over me, bless my heart, bless my mind, and everybody can understand what I'm talking about. All right, amen. Today is February 28th, running toward home. I was sitting in a truck stop waiting to get a load. I don't think I'll get one. I drove quite a bit. I really need some rest so my mind can function a little better tomorrow so I can run and be home Friday evening. And then I'll celebrate a little more of my wife's birthday this weekend. Probably take her out to dinner and her and Landon, her and Tater and and uh, he's doing fine. He went back to school Monday and now uh, he's kicking like normal again. I knew that surgery would help him. Boy, it just scares me though. Them putting him to sleep instead of him going to sleep. Ah, uh, uh, it bothered me. God took my mind off of it. Ended up working on the car while he was having surgery and stuff. So he's got a plan always. Running, February 28th, running toward home. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Psalms 90, 12. It doesn't seem so long ago that I was a young dreamer filled with great expectation. Since there were few things in life that I loved more than baseball, as a young man, I dedicated myself to the sport. I often pictured myself hitting a big league grand slam into the stadium seats and hearing the crowd roar as I ran the bases, nearing home. I never would have guessed that what lay in store. After giving my heart to, to the Lord Jesus Christ, repenting of my sin, and putting my entire life into his hands, I laid down my dreams, along with my bat, and fully embraced God's plan by faith, trusting that he would lead me all the way. He did, he is, and he will. And that's what he does today. That's what he does to me, it's what he does to you. As I look back, I see how God's hand guided me. I sense His Spirit with me today, and most comforting is the knowledge that He will not forsake me during the last stretch as I am nearing home in heaven. If He doesn't give me a sense of hope and peace, nothing else will. Amen. Nothing will. And the question of the day, I always ask everybody to answer this. If you would, I love hearing the seeing the comments, reading them. Um, I've had a couple of pri uh, uh, gifts for people answering questions. So, how have you felt the Lord's guidance from an early age? How has He guided you from an early age? How have you felt it? Yeah, how have you felt the Lord's guidance from an early age? Well, I can tell you this. I started off a little bit about my story, briefly, quick. I quit school. Two weeks before the 11th grade was out, I went to work at 15 years old in Village Creek State Park in Arkansas, close to Wynn, Arkansas. Adams 
card claws probably knows where it's at. Uh, I went to work there. I was smoking dope on the way to work, drinking Mountain Dews, uh, smoking joint two on the break on the way home. It started it off. But God guided me after all the drugs and all I tried to do. Throughout the years, I left Arkansas, went to Dallas, and moved back to Arkansas, Memphis. I ended up doing cocaine, meth, anything, speedball. I did it all. I did just about all the pills, acid, and all, all of it. That's probably what's wrong with my brain today. I used to carry a 357 Magnum in my back pocket all the time. Not a 357 Magnum. Where did that come from? A 357 chrome plated revolver. Like that. All of it. And I had knives all the time. And uh, I thought I was a badass. At the time, I guess I was. Uh, God guided me through this journey. When I gave my life to the Lord in 95, I got tired of that life. I got tired of arguing, fussing, fighting, partying. Um, I thought partying was it, man. I thought that steadily getting a fifth of liquor, man, getting a like, quarter ounce bag of weed. And, man, now my weekend was going to be great. It's not about to grab the Bible now. That's my week. That's what I'm, my weekend now is being with my family. I love them. He's guided me through all these years of rough patches, but he's been with me, guiding me right behind me the whole way, and popping me in the back of the head. Say, Tim, get out the way. Get out of the way. I'll take over. And I pushed him back. Pushed him back. You keep pushing the Lord long enough, and you don't surrender to the Lord, it's, <laughs> your chance is going to run out. I had 95, I gave my life to the Lord, committed to it. I slipped every now and then, went back, partied a little bit, and it. But for the most part, in the last five to six years or so, I've been committed to the Lord. He's guided me. He's, I've seen I can't live without Him. Uh, and I hope y'all are going to look at that. And I hope you let the Lord guide you day in and day out because... All the partying, all the cards, all the nuts, all the uh, going out and trying to have a good time. Um, you can still go out and have a good time without all the partying. Um, it's not going to be any good. Uh, you know, it leads to drinking and driving. One drug leads to another. Drinking leads to drugs. Um, you know, if you got faith in Lord, He will take care of you. You'll live a happier life than you did when you was doing drugs and alcohol. Or if you still are, whatever, you know. The Lord will take care of you either way and you'll live a happy life. Maybe you're still drinking. Maybe you're still smoking pot. That's in between you and the Lord. You don't have to quit till you, He puts it on your heart to quit. You know. So that's how Have you felt the Lord's guidance from an early age? That's how I've felt it. I've felt that love, that the Holy Ghost being in me, uh, that going down the road driving my truck or my car, raising my hands, praising God, listening to music, and just enjoying the life of. And I'm not a Bible thumper. I can't quote verses. I can read this, share my experience, and hopefully it helps somebody, you know. That's all I can do, and that's what God's got, God has guided me to do. I'm doing this twice a week, because you know God says share the gospel. Before he left, he said share the gospel and know that I am with you. Uh, let everybody know that I'm preparing a place, and I'm ready. I am so ready. This world is getting off. I, mean, I don't know if y'all watch the news. A lot's going on. A lot is going on. There's been a lot been going on for years. God's time is a 
split second compared to our years and years. His is, say, I, I'm not sure it's, it says it in the Bible somewhere and it explains it in the concordance books. Um, say, for an example, I'm not sure, 20 years is a split millisecond for God. So, when I say he's coming back, he's coming back. It may be tonight, it may be tomorrow, it may not be till next week. But when he comes back, you'll be standing there wondering what's going on if you gave your heart to the Lord, you know. You may be driving down the road seeing empty cars go by you and wondering what's going on. Why there's nobody on the streets, you know. I believe this is going to be hell when it's over there. Being on earth is going to be hell when I go to heaven. I don't want to be down here. That's just what I believe. I believe this is going to be hell because it's partially hell now. This earth, living on this earth is partially hell now. I make it better because the Lord is in me. Or he makes it better because the Lord is in me. And my days are better, but I can see where everything is hell and not water out here. Robberies, thieves, kids with guns, shooting schools, shooting up schools, uh, blowing up places, uh, fire, earthquakes, tornadoes, hurricanes, snow, uh, all kinds. Of, everything is happening in Revelation. You read Revelations closely and Look up the definitions of some stuff. The, the world's coming to an end right now. Uh, the president, Putin, that Russian guy, he, they're all part of the prophecy. I was talking, I watched videos of somebody who was, you know, talking about them and all. They're part of the prophecy. Trump's part of the prophecy. Trump's going to be our next president again. I hope he is. In a way, I don't really care because I liked Trump. He did more for us than any other president. He did more in four years than any president did in eight. I'm not a politics, so don't argue with me. Don't say, no, he ain't. Trump didn't do nothing. That crap, blah, 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 blah. Hey, okay, that's your opinion. I don't know. I don't keep up with it. I keep up with the Bible. I keep up with the good Lord and I ask the good Lord to fill me with the Holy Spirit every day. That's my, that's my politics, okay? So I ain't going to argue with you because I don't know enough about it. Today, I got sent Rob um, in, the past, in the past. I've showed y'all my mail days. He sent, gives me, he gave me his packs, a box uh, to do on my verse and two packs. Today I'm going to do opening day since it started three or four days ago. We are having baseball now, thank God. And I'm opening up this pack of series one I got. How have you felt the Lord's guidance from an early age? Shout out to uh, Rob Y'all check his channel out. I think he's got... I know he's went and had a channel. I don't know if he makes videos or not. Uh, Sean. What is it? The uh, Jedi Master. Check him out. There's a couple channels right there. Y'all go sub up. And anybody's got any ideas, I'm getting ready to my trucking videos. I've been doing it. I got one for y'all yesterday. I got to find out how to get more storage on my phone. Uh, so it doesn't cut out after 20 minutes. Um, I'm gonna buy me some cameras for the back. I was just watching a guy. I got an idea. He put a cam reverse camera on the back of his truck. You can see underneath his trailer him backing in spots. I'm gonna put some cameras on my mirror. I'm doing this. This is gonna happen. I can't afford no $300 drone, but I might can afford a hundred and something dollar drone. Just give y'all pictures above some of the warehouses and stuff. Uh, I'm getting back in my some trucking videos and really getting serious. I'd like to see 60,000 subs and 4.5 thousand, uh, 4.5 
4,500 views on one video. God, I would say. And I've looked at a lot of trucking videos, and they've got them. And I want that. But I'm going to keep God in it. God's going to work with me. Um, and it's going to be godly, whatever I do. Here we go, trucking up. Whoop, whoop. Opening day. We start out with future stars. Jared Kelnick, cool deal. Good opening pack. We had Vladimir Guerrero Jr. opening day. We have Anthony Rizzo. I gotta look at my Yankees and see what who's got who's done with the Yankees now. What's going on? I think they lost to the Rays today. Um, here's uh, opening day, Milwaukee Brewers. Good pack so far. Steven Strasburg opening day. Tarek Skubal, future stars. Pretty good pack so far. Zach Pop, no major hits, but Zach Pop rookie. Let me tell you this before I start on this one. I'm still selling mystery boxes $25. $25 a box packed full with two packs of sleeves like this. Look at that. Put a lot of cards in there. Y'all saw the box open up to Diamond Princess. $25 and I'm going to put a bubble mail wrap of rookies in there. Extra with it. So you're going to get 30, 40 rookies and then hits in this one for $25. Two boxes for 40 okay? Canada had $10. I, if I shipped to Canada, just, I'm probably going to be eating five, three or $4, but that's all right. I'm, you know, got to get y'all a break. I love it. I love y'all up there, man. I, wish I could ship for 4 or $5. I'd be shipping y'all all the time. I love my buddy, Sticks G, Piffany Card Collector, Jeff Shaw. Big Chief, Claire, all y'all from Canada. I love y'all, man. You know, I'd love to come to Canada and party. We can party in a way, have a few beers, open some cards, slam on a few hobby boxes. That's some partying. All right? I love it. I'd love to come to Canada. Maybe if I can get go to National, um, I can see some of y'all there. I'd love to go to National, man, and see everybody. God be like walking into the church and seeing all y'all there that just that, woo, that cold chills that'd be great but come on man share it out help me sell some of these boxes 25 for a box 25 a box I'm gonna have a raffle kind of like what Beast Firestarter breaks what he did in a flat rate box you know I'm gonna put three or four hundred in a box like this though. So, um well, I got a box or whatever. Um and I'm gonna put it pack it full with great football and maybe a mixture football and baseball and then raffle it off or sell the whole box. I wanna sell my whole collection, I'm gonna buy some cameras and all for my truck and we're gonna be seeing some trucking videos. Y'all gonna see what I see. Y'all are gonna do pre trips with me. I'm going to talk to you, ramble on, whatever. Show you what I do when I wake up in the morning to the time I go to bed. When I get home. Alright, we got Esquiel Dur Duran, rookie. It's the first I've touched, Series 1. I did get a blaster last night from Diamond Princess. It was pretty good. Ryan my Castle. I like these look of Series 1 this year. We got a Giants, Mike Yastrzemski. I like the back of them too. It's pretty cool. I don't know how much the set, how much, you know, 0 to 300, 0 to 400 to build the set. Steel Walker rookie. Tim Anderson. Adam Wainwright. 
Tristan Koskis 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 with the Red Sox rookie we got Franchi Cordero Oops. Paul Goldsmith Oh, I got a backwards car. Stars of the MLB. Wow, that is nice. Ten times better than last year. Ronald Acuna Jr. Some nice stars of the MLB this year. Uh, Jordan Montgomery. Josh Smith, rookie. Isaiah Kenner. Falefa with the Yankees. I think I said that right. And we have a rookie of Josh Winkrosky. Nice. I like that Ronald Acuna Jr. though. Nice bag. I like that. All right. That'll be it for today. The box. Mystery box, $25. You're going to get extra uh, bubble mail wrap. I don't know if I got any. Yeah. But they're going to be smaller. I can put that in there, but I'm going to have a smaller one I'm going to add with it full of rookies. So $25, you get two packs of sleeves, six to eight hits. Bobby Witt Jr., Wander Franco, Julio Rodriguez. Um, all those good hits. Okay? I've got the cards. I'm putting them in boxes. From 21, 22, 23. Um, I got 6,000 sleeves. So, I've already sold two uh, one baseball, one football. My brother Rafa, Hidden Gym Sports Cards. Check him out. I'm going to put all these names in the description. Alright. I can't beat that $25 better than any box you're going to buy at the store. Guarantee you're going to get your money's worth. Two or three cards going to cover your $25. That you, you can put on eBay and sell it, whatever. Um. All right, mystery boxes. Go visit all those channels. Visit all the Canadian channels. I love it, man. Hit Rob. Rob's not a Canadian, but hit Rob from New York. Hit uh, Sean, Jedi Master. Then hit Jeff Shaw, Pithy Card Collectors. I'm going to try to put as many of these Canadians in the description as I can. Visit all the can Canadian channels that I'm going to put in the description. Sub them up. Watch a video. At least 10 minutes, 5 to 10 minutes of the video. Hit the thumbs up and leave a comment. So the sub will stick, please, please. Okay? And most of all, how have you felt the Lord's guidance from an early age? Remember what I read today. That's most important. Remember how God, from when you was young, how He guided you. How did you feel? You know, leave it in the comment section. Anything else, you can catch me on Instagram. Uh, I got Facebook. Uh, any donations are highly appreciated. Uh, you don't have to do it, but highly appreciated. Really. Uh, I've got donations of packs. If you want to send me packs to do on the verse, two packs. If you want to tell me how to get the cameras for my truck I'm this is gonna happen very quick the truck part I'm fixing to really start doing my videos and showing you how I back up showing you some of the countryside when I'm shifting I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my uh, two cameras one down here showing me backing up one shifting at the same time I'm gonna have my two cameras uh, I gotta find out tell me Y'all tell me how I can get more storage for my phone where it'll last more than 20 minutes. 
I mean, it's saying storage full. I can't erase a bunch of stuff because I got to have work stuff, but I know I can get more storage than that, okay? We're at 25 minutes. Look, God loves you, so do I. Tell somebody that today, please. If you get one person, to, you tell that, it might help them. Might make the world a better place. Whoop, whoop. It's Trucker Tim. Peace.